In mathematics, the theory of computation has become much more sophisticated mathematically with time and uh, requires more and more deeper and uh, wider mathematics. So the connections are, are extremely you know, interesting and broad. What is hiding a secret is the computational difficulty of a problem. This, is, this, uh, this idea, uh, which is amazing uh, in itself, is what, is what really you know, uh, caused the internet to be built, right? Suddenly, with this idea, you could have people who never talked with each other before communicate in secrecy. It's good to have hard problems. It's, right. uh, it's amazing, it's shocking, it's surprising, and there are other aspects of this. There are other benefits of hard problems that emerge in the history of computation. With hard problems, you can build good pseudo-random generators. I think people don't realize so much the, the fact that, uh, you know, cryptography before that, in the, let's say, 3,000 years it, it existed, <coughs> was secret communication between people based on the fact that they had secret communication before. It's a wonderful axiom. First of all, it seems to hold in real life, the axiom that some problems are difficult. And once you accept this axiom, both that, you know, some problems are extremely hard and we are computationally limited, then suddenly you can do, uh, you can do these magical things. If that holds, then you can replace every, every probabilistic algorithm with a deterministic counterpart. So you can eliminate ran randomness always. So hard problems are useful in a very different way. Just try to define what a zero knowledge proof is. It's a major, uh, it's a major issue in itself. Anyway, so I, I consider myself unbelievably <laughs> lucky. It's a very fantastic existence.